do you big shit? Do you big shit? Do you wash her, man? Level the wash her, do you too? Yeah, yeah. Wash, wash her, say Superman, big shit. Shock trap detected. 
Good afternoon, people. This is Dragons back with a jewel build video outside the lovely location of the amusement park at Coney Island. A few people have asked for this, um, asked me for the build, so I thought I'd put it together. Um, it's basically Umbra, um, but I run two different variants of it. So if I go into the actual stats of Umbra at the straight off the bat, two piece, 15% crit chance, 30% reload, and three piece. And then the four piece from the shadows into the light. One in cover, gain 10 stacks per second up to 50. Each stack will give you 1% critical hit damage increase and at 0.3% RPM. Buff does not apply when shooting from cover. While out of cover, agents lose two stacks per second and at normal speed and one stack per second if sprinting. While out of cover in combat, gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 each stack will give you 0.8 armor regen when it's consumed stats consumes 10 stacks per second only in cover okay so that's basically the rundown on umbra um, you have to run four piece obviously to get the four piece bonus and for the build you have to run the chest piece for the chest piece talents which increases the max stacks from the into the shadows from 50 to 100 so basically that's a hundred percent crit damage you get when you actually pop your head out of cover well when you leave cover um so let's go through the rest of the build we've got this is the shock resistant version of the build so i'm running the chest piece with one shock mod, shock resistance mod four piece umbra with hasbro roll on the mask and crit damage and then the other pieces have got Armor, crit damage, armor, crit damage. I'm running the Grupo backpack for the crit damage. So weapon damage, crit damage, crit chance and crit damage. With vigilance, increase total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables the buff, which is good for Umbra because obviously you're in cover. Wait four seconds, done. You, yeah, if you get pushed, you get oh, yeah, you get vigilance back again for you. And the last bit is the shock punch. So while Shock Punch is equipped, the stun received by the agent from Shock Status Effect will be reduced by 50%. Using a shield will give 100% melee damage. Using St. Halmer's engine with the, the holster will give 100% melee damage and will make the next melee attack apply Shock to the target. Using all three items will offer all the above mentioned bonuses and the Shock from the melee attack will have a 5 meter radius starting from the first target cooldown of 15 seconds. Um, I'm using skill wise, um, decoy and foam. I know a lot of people don't like foam, but it is what it is. A lot of people don't like shock, but there's ways around it, so deal with it. Um, I'm using the Shinamos with 16% expertise weapon damage. I can get up to 23, but it's just stupidly expensive to do that. Um, with assault rifle, health damage and damage targets out of cover multiplicative. Um, shooting an enemy with this weapon gives one stack. At 100 stacks, the next magazine will be filled with shock hammer. Now, if we go into the actual weapon, we've got crit damage on the mod, on the middle, on the scope, 20, under barrel, 20% weapon handling, and we got 20% crit chance on the, on the muzzle. And 30 round mag, which brings it up to 70, which is just insane, um, especially for a, a a police M4 variant, which is what this is. It's a variant of a police M4, so the accuracy is very good anyway, hence the weapon handling, it's even better. Then you've got 30 round mag on top of it, bringing it to 70, and then if you reload once more, you can have 71 rounds in the mag, which is just insane for a weapon. I, I will go for, as far as saying this is the best weapon in the game at the moment, hands down. Um, the weapon damage is a bit off, next to say an Eagle Bearer, but you know, you make up with all the actual stuff you do there. Uh, secondary, I've got a infantry MG5 with Frenzy. So damage to armor, damage to targets, I've got an LMG damage. I should really have LMG damage as my um, weapon bonus on my specialization, but you know, it is what it is. It's a secondary. Um, pistol, you can go for whatever you want. Um, you can go orbit, you can go anything, to be fair. Wh whichever you, whichever's the best for you. Specialization, I've got the minigun from the gunner, and that's mainly because of the medkit. 
because this is more of a I'm going to get pushed by a lot of people let's medkit straight away and with the medkit and the overheal that you get from the medkit um, it's quite nice because you make it you get it off and boom you're back up to plus over your full on armor and you don't have that healing over time that you do you have to dance around like a chicken to actually get your armor back up um, stats wise we are 51% crit chance 52% 152% crit damage and we are 90% shock resistance which is the actual sweet spot for um, being shock resistance completely so you can't get shocked by that so we've done some testing with grumpy and it just doesn't shock anything even status effect um, rolls and stuff which actually makes the status the shock more on this weapon unlike any other weapon in the game um, that doesn't work either which is great so if I go into the mission quickly so obviously you have to stay in cover for a period of time Stack it up, stack it up, stack it up. Back up in 100, 250% crit damage. Now, if you're running somebody in the team with um, coyotes, then you'll be crit capped at 250% crit damage, plus you'll get extra crit damage on top of that from the coyotes mask, which is just insane. So, obviously, build your team as is. The second build that I actually run is. This. So it's very the same as much the same as before. 1.5 mil armor rather than 1.7, because it's more of a running, you know, gun as many people down as possible. Same skills, same weapon. Secondary, you can have whatever you want. Same pistol. And um, but in this sense, because I generally use this in group most of the time or solo, I've gone for the um, the firewall med kit, which gives you healing over time over a period of time. Um, but it's still same as before. Crit damage and weapon damage. Crit damage, armor, crit damage, armor, crit damage, armor, crit damage, armor, and damage targets out of cover. And then the backpack is the same again as on the previous build. Um, so stats on this is 188% crit damage with exactly the same crit chance. No shock resistance at all. Same skills. And again, pop into cover. That's and that gives me 286% crit damage. So, um, yeah, those are the builds, guys. Um, people have been asking about them. I've showed them on stream and that, but obviously it's best if I have a little rundown of the stuff. Um, they're fun to run. They're exceedingly fun. As you see them from the footage, they can be quite lethal, shall we say. But obviously positioning is everything in this game, so sometimes I'm crap at that. So, um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the film, the video. And I will see you in the next one, or on stream. Peace out, people. Thank you.